Welcome back to the channel guys, Planet Card Scale Dreams. Uh, so today I'm going to unbox this uh, AMT's 33 Willie Gasser. It's the uh, Ohio George Montgomery's um, record setting 33 Willie. Um, or Willie's or whatever you want to call it. So uh, this kit originally came out in... Um, According to Scale Mates, was 68, I believe, and then was re released in this one's 2012, this particular kit. And I think they, they did another reboxing in 2013. But there's also this kit here, and there was a few repops of this one. Um, it wasn't the Gasser kit, or basically it's a Gasser, but it was. Um, just call the three to three thirty three Willie's Coop, which uh, was uh, pretty much, <clears throat> excuse me, all the same parts with a few uh, street stuff. I guess I don't have that kit, but um, when I seen this one, I, I this is a photo of the real car. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful car, really cool, um, really cool kit i think um okay so i won't talk about uh some of the i've watched a few reviews and i i do know there are some particular things with this kit that uh aren't great but i think if you can look past that and and just want to build a cool model um, and you can get a hold of this, I would definitely recommend it. <clears throat> so, this talks about, uh, Ohio George, um, during the Gasser Wars of the 60s, George in his beautiful pastoral blue, so that's the color. Uh, we're, we're a formi formidable force competing against iconic names like Big John, Mazatman, Mazmanian, Stonewoods and Cook, K.S. Pittman. Collecti collectively, they were known as the Big Four, thrilling fans as they battled each other down the quarter mile. One of uh, George's big wins came when he took the cup in the AA gas supercharged class at the 67 Winter Nationals in Panoma, California. So to commemorate the super detailed this special edition kit, the cats at AMT have included an exclusive bonus never before available, a 16-page booklet <clears throat> featuring photos of the beautiful restored one-to-one -one willies. Oh, so that's cool. Uh, it also includes many incre incredibly rare vintage shots not yet chopped car taken nearly five decades ago at uh, AMT shop when it was being measured to create this classic scale plastic kit with exciting wheel and tire options, authentic decals, and more. This is the ultimate kit of the world's wildest willies. So that's cool. Gives you a little rundown of the big four, if you will. So the special edition, all original parts being restored, including wheelie bar, push bar assembly, two sets of rear wheels, Halibrand, and the newly tooled vintage five-spoke option, two pairs of pre-lettered M&H Racemaster slicks, pie crust, and wide style, vintage original decals, and instruction sheet artwork with part numbers, Collectible deluxe size packaging with a photo provided by the Rotters Journal. So that's cool. I'm excited to check this booklet out. I didn't even really... I've opened this kit before and just kind of quick look in it, into it. Um, but I never... I never really looked into it. Just kind of opened, looked cool <laughs> type deal. Um, so it's molded in blue. 
Okay, let's take this stuff out real quick. The tires. Clears. Two chrome trees in here. Nice box. Some round two stuff for 13. Sticker. It's cool. AMT. Um, some mail stuff. Duckles. Instructions. And then here is the booklet they spoke about. So this is really cool. So I won't read the whole thing, but to show you some of the pictures it has in here, which is going to make it really cool. The detail can make it uh, try and make it as accurate as possible. So this is a sock 427 I believe hmm. yeah that's cool I like that nice color photos so this is uh, before they chopped it That's neat. Really cool. Okay, so I'm going to cut these packages open, then I'll be right back. Okay, well, we'll start with the body. Um, so I understand they've retooled this. Um, there is a fair little bit of flashing here. The um, mall lines aren't too too bad doesn't look too bad um, so I don't know if you can see this but that's not supposed to be there that's some kind of protector but um That'll have to be sanded smooth. I don't know what that's all about, but that was obviously from from a earlier release. But that shouldn't be there. Window looks pretty rough around. Definitely needs some cleanup in here. Um, so I do know I have the thirty three Willys uh, panel delivery. And this this line right here is very prominent like it's got to be a millimeter at least so this one isn't as bad I mean it's still there but it uh, it's not gonna require filling like the 33 that I have because they're basically almost the same kit um, they share a lot of parts, most of the parts. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not as bad as that other one, that's for sure. But it definitely will require some cleanup. Um, doesn't really want to fit all that well. But it could be just because of this. These bumps in here just needs to be cleaned up and thinned out a little bit. I think it'll fit. So we'll see how that goes. And then your floor plan, floor pan and frame doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of chunks. I would, I guess, I could say on the ends or around the all around it so that'll have to be cleaned up it doesn't look too too bad there's not a lot of parts to this I don't know if there's a part count 
So the interior tub, there's not much to it for detail wise. I mean, you can see the rivets or whatever and a slight door line. Other than that, that's it. Your trunk lid, chute, scoop. Um, well, that's uh, something to do with the intake, I think. Is there a chute, part of your chute? Uh, the rod. Got some nice texture to it. Okay, and then your your engine. It's supposed to be a 427 with the C6 from what I understand. Uh, this must be, I'm not sure, but that is something for the firewall, maybe. Yeah, not too bad. Wheelie bar. And this is the insert for the roof. See how that fits. I have to look at the, the real car and see if that's an actual thing or if I have to seal that up, smooth it out. Okay, the seats are pretty nice, except for there's no belts on this one. I'd prefer there was no belts on either and just make my own, but I'll have to search around maybe for something as a replacement. Then the dash. Drilled out. Then our chromes. All your suspension stuff. Uh, I'm not even sure what this is. There's your headlight. Well, your bezels. Starter. Shocks, headers, really nice. These actually, these uh, leaf springs are pretty nice. All that front suspension, I'll drill these out. That look really cool. Oh, we got something in here. Not sure, what this is. Ooh, look at those. So these must be brand new Halley rounds. Those are pretty nice. Sorry, I hope I had that in. That's cool though, that they, they've they added these. That's neat. I was wondering about that. Okay, and then here are the the original kit ones. So these are the five spoke. Those are four spoke. And the fronts are five. Hmm. Okay, and then your rear end, which I think is, I'm not even sure what that is. Maybe a Pontiac or a Oldsmobile or something like that. Your suspension, your little foot pedal, roll bar, and then your fuel and all that, superchargers and halves, and your transmission pan, your big old sock um valve covers the front and then your intake really nice steering wheel so there's another one of these I'm not sure what that is I'll have to look so this must be for the back of the wheel wheel back parts 
front rear window frame, your gauges. Not sure what that is. Uh, it's a couple of shifters. Front um, leafs, or yeah, I guess those would be the fronts. Your wheelie bar stuff. Some more shifters and steering stuff. So that's pretty much most of the kit. Um, the only thing I haven't we haven't looked at is the tires. So these skinnies are very skinny. So it says Denman Premium Sports. Whoops. Can't really read that. Handcrafted Premium Sport. Something. Oh, four-ply nylon tubeless. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Now, these are really skinny. That's pretty sweet. Okay, and then you got your basic AMT. See a lot of these in some kits nowadays. The Race Masters. And then they got some... Race Master Pie Crests. So I'm not sure why they, this was maybe the earlier, you could build an earlier version. I'm not really sure. I don't know if I'll use these or these. But, um, because the, the one, the car pictured doesn't have any markings on the tires. Okay, and then we have our clears. Apparently this is from the the delivery, so that won't even be used. And the delivery has the same glass package in it. I looked at it the other day. Okay, and then our inst instructions. We'll just zoom out a bit. So an old school instruction instructions booklet There's not much to it I like how it uh, names all the parts so that's kind of neat it's cool like that and then it switches so it's this way now you go this way and then you gotta flip it <laughs> kind of funny then your interior Chassis and wheels. So this one it says four spoke pie crust, five spoke in the race masters. So whatever that's about. Body final assembly. Okay, that's all cool. Yeah, I like this kit. I think it'll be fairly low parts count <clears throat> so you have a little placard thing you can make it's neat and then all your all your uh, sponsors and of course the Malco little AMT Ohio George. So this is this is kind of neat. It goes over all the stuff. Best known and most consistent winner in the history of drag racing, it says. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, there is that. And that is your AMT 33 Willys Ohio George Montgomery unboxing. I want to thank everybody for checking out the video. Appreciate y'all and hope everybody's doing really good. Had a good start to their week. 
my weekend is done. I just had 12 days off. Go back to work tomorrow. Back to the grind. All right. Mod along, guys. Pat out. Thank you. Thank you very much.